South Dakota Signs Road Situations Practice Test. Question 1. You have parked against the curb facing up a steep hill. Which way should you point your front wheels? Straight. Towards the curb. It does not matter. Away from the curb. Answer. Away from the curb. Question 2. You see a lane marked out with solid and broken yellow lines. What is this lane for? This is a reversible lane. Carpooling. Passing. Left turns only. Answer. Left turns only. Question 3. Three cars arrive at this four-way stop, one after another. In what order should these cars proceed? Car B, C, and then A. Car A, C, and then B. Car B, A, and then C. Car C, B, and then A. Answer. Car B, A, and then C. Question 4. In which of the following scenarios has the car lawfully parked? A 10 feet from a fire hydrant. B. On a bridge. C. On the sidewalk. 1 foot from the curb. Answer. 1 foot from the curb. Question 5. What does this sign mean? The minimum speed limit is 50 miles per hour. The maximum speed limit is 50 miles per hour. The speed limit at night is 50 miles per hour. The recommended speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Answer. The maximum speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Question 6. Who should wear a seatbelt or child restraint? The driver, all front seat passengers, and all passengers under 18. The driver and every passenger should wear their seat belts. Just the driver. Just the driver and all passengers under 18. Answer. The driver and every passenger should wear their seat belts. Question 7. You see a section of curb painted white. Can you park here? Yes, but this is a loading zone. No. Yes, but only briefly. Yes, this is a metered parking area. Answer. Yes, but only briefly. Question 8. You see a pedestrian raise a white cane into the air ahead. What does this mean? The pedestrian is angrily gesturing to another pedestrian or motorist. The pedestrian is waving down a taxi or a bus, proceed with care. The pedestrian is about to cross, prepare to yield. The pedestrian will cross after you pass. Answer The pedestrian is about to cross, prepare to yield. Question 9. You see an octagonal sign at an intersection. What must you do here? Stop and yield to traffic. Slow down and yield to traffic. Proceed with caution. Proceed straight through when safe.
There are no left or right turns allowed here. Answer Stop and yield to traffic. Question 10. When can you drive on the shoulder of the road? On approach to a traffic signal if you are turning left. Never. When you are passing another vehicle and the shoulder is paved. When passing a car turning left so long as the shoulder is paved. Answer. Never. Question 11. You are turning at an intersection and you cannot see any other vehicles around. Do you still need to signal? Yes, you must signal for at least 50 feet before you turn. Yes, you must signal for at least 100 feet before you turn. No, you are only required to signal when other vehicles are present. No, turn signals are optional in South Dakota. Answer Yes, you must signal for at least 100 feet before you turn. Question 12. You are turning right at a green light. A pedestrian is entering to cross. Who must yield? You must yield, but only if the pedestrian is crossing at an illuminated walk sign. The pedestrian must yield. You should sound your horn to warn the pedestrian, you must yield if that does not work. You must yield. Answer. You must yield. Question 13. This driver is using a hand signal. What is the driver planning to do? Turn right. Stop or slow down. This is not a valid hand signal. Turn left. Answer. Turn right. Question 14. Two vehicles arrive at an intersection at the same time. Which one of the following is true? The car on the left should yield to its right. One driver should proceed first and take right of way. The car on the right should yield to its left. The car on the busier road has right of way. Answer The car on the left should yield to its right. Question 15 are any of the following statements not correct? You should use your headlights from half an hour after sunset to half an hour before sunrise. You should drive with your parking lights on to make your car more visible during the day. You should use your headlights whenever visibility is difficult at 200 feet. All of the above statements are correct. Answer. You should drive with your parking lights on to make your car more visible during the day. Question 16. You arrive at an intersection with this sign. What must you do here? Stop and yield to traffic. Cue behind any vehicles that are already in the intersection. Slow down and yield to traffic. Only yield if you are turning. Answer. Slow down and yield to traffic. Question 17. You arrive at an out of order traffic signal. It is completely unlit. What should you do? Stop as if you were at a stop sign. Proceed through as soon as the way is clear. Yield as though you were at an uncontrolled intersection. 
Assume right of way if you are on the busiest road in the intersection. Answer Stop as if you were at a stop sign. Question 18. You see a school bus stopped with red flashing signals on the opposite side of a four-lane road. What must you do? Stop before reaching the bus position. Slow down to 15 miles per hour and proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. Come to a complete stop, yield if necessary, and then proceed. Answer Proceed with caution. Question 19 You see this sign at an intersection. What does it mean? You are permitted to turn left or right at a red signal here. There is a stop sign at every entrance to the intersection. If you turn here you will enter a two-way road. There is a stop or yield sign at every entrance to the intersection. Answer There is a stop sign at every entrance to the intersection. Question 20 you see a school bus with amber flashing lights. What must you do? Proceed with caution. Prepare to stop. Come to a complete stop. Reduce speed to 20 miles per hour and proceed with caution. Answer Reduce speed to 20 miles per hour and proceed with caution. Question 21. Which of the following actions are optional when changing lanes? Looking over your shoulder. Checking your mirrors. Using your turn signals. None of the above. Answer. None of the above. Question 22. This driver is using a hand signal. What is the driver planning to do? Turn left. Turn right. This is not a valid hand signal. Stop or slow down. Answer. Stop or slow down. Question 23. What must you do at a flashing red signal? Stop and yield as you would at a stop sign. Proceed through with caution. Yield as you would at a yield sign. Yield to all traffic, unless you're on the busier roadway. Answer. Stop and yield as you would at a stop sign. Question 24. A school bus with flashing red signals has stopped on the two-lane road ahead. What must you do? Stop, but only if you are traveling in the same direction as the bus. Slow down to 15 miles per hour and proceed with caution. Stop before reaching the bus. Proceed with caution. Answer. Stop before reaching the bus. Question 25. What does this sign mean? Pedestrian crossing ahead. The alley or private road you are on crosses the sidewalk ahead. School ahead. School crossing ahead. Answer. School crossing ahead. Question 26. Can you turn left at a green signal? No. Yes, but only after yielding, 
You do not have right of way. Yes, immediately. Yes, but only if there is a permissive sign posted, yield to vehicles and pedestrians first. Answer. Yes, but only after yielding, you do not have right of way. Question 27. Three cars arrive at an intersection with yield signs. Which car has right of way? Corsa and C. Car B. Car A. Car C. Answer. Car B. Question 28. Two cars arrive at an intersection at the same time. Which of the following is true? You must yield to oncoming vehicles before you turn left at an intersection. You have right of way if you are on the busier road. You must yield to all turning vehicles at an intersection. One driver should just take right of way. Answer. You must yield to oncoming vehicles before you turn left at an intersection. Question 29. You are about to make a right turn at a red signal. A pedestrian enters the road ahead. What should you do? Stop and let the pedestrian cross. Turn into the far lane and pass the pedestrian. Sound your horn to alert the pedestrian of your presence. Speed up to pass the pedestrian. Answer. Stop and let the pedestrian cross. Question 30. How close to a railroad crossing can you lawfully park? No closer than the stop line. 50 feet from the tracks. 30 feet from the tracks. 15 feet from the tracks. Answer. 50 feet from the tracks. Question 31. What does this sign mean? There is a railroad crossing ahead. There is a train station ahead. You are going the wrong way, turn around and go back. There is a four-way intersection ahead. Answer. There is a railroad crossing ahead. Question 32. When should you dim your high beams? When it is foggy, misty, or raining heavily. When you are approaching or following another vehicle. When you are driving on a well-lit road. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 33. Two cars arrive at a four-way stop at the same time. Which car has right of way? The car at the busiest entrance to the intersection. Car B. Car A. There is no rule for this situation, so one car must let the other car through. Answer. Car B. Question 34. Can you turn right at a red signal? Yes, but only after you stop and yield to all vehicles and pedestrians. Yes, you should have right of way here. Yes, but only after you yield to all vehicles and pedestrians. No, not in South Dakota. Answer. Yes, but only after you stop and yield to all vehicles and pedestrians.
Question 35, what should you do at a yellow signal? Drive through if safe. Drive through if you think you can cross before the signal turns red. Drive through after yielding to traffic. Stop if you safely can. Answer. Stop if you safely can. Question 36. Can you turn left at the screen arrow? Yes, you have right of way. No, these lights are out of order. No, you must wait for the red signal to change. Yes, but you must yield to oncoming vehicles first. Answer. Yes, you have right of way. Question 37. What does this sign mean? Steep descent. Emergency runaway truck ramp ahead. Truck route. Trucks frequently enter from a steep side road here. Answer. Steep descent. Question 38. Two cars arrive at a four-way stop at the same time. Which car has right of way? Whichever car proceeds first. Car B. Car A. There is no rule for this situation. Answer. Car B. Question 39. You are following another vehicle, but you may be a little too close. What is a safe following distance? You are following safely so long as you can see the tail lights of the car ahead. At least 20 feet. At least 1 second. At least 3 seconds. Answer. At least 3 seconds. Question 40. What must you do at a yellow flashing traffic signal? Proceed straight through when safe. There are no left or right turns allowed here. Stop and yield as you would at a stop sign. Yield as you would at a yield sign. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. Slow down and proceed with caution. Question 41. What does this sign mean? Work zone ahead. Slow vehicle ahead. Dead end ahead. No passing ahead. Answer. Slow vehicle ahead. Question 42. Which car is hidden in the truck's blind spot? Car B. Corza and C. Car C. Car A. Answer. Car B. Question 43. Which of the following is true about right of way? You should take right of way whenever you can. If you have right of way, you can always proceed. Right of way is illegal right. You should always be prepared to give right of way. Answer. You should always be prepared to give right of way. Question 44. What should you do if you are blinded by oncoming headlights? Speed up to pass sooner. Watch the left edge of the road. Watch the right edge of the road. Switch your high beams on. Answer. 
watch the right edge of the road. Question 45. You see a penance-shaped sign. What does it mean? Work zone ahead. Divided highway begins. Keep right. No passing. Answer. No passing. Question 46. You see an ambulance approach with its flashing lights on. What must you do? Maintain speed and direction. Changing lanes or stopping is unpredictable and dangerous. Slow down. Pull over and stop for any ambulance that is approaching from behind. Pull over to the right and stop for any ambulance. Answer. Pull over to the right and stop for any ambulance. Question 47. What is the maximum speed limit for South Dakota's school zones? 25 miles per hour. 30 miles per hour. 15 miles per hour. 20 miles per hour. Answer. 15 miles per hour. Question 48. Which car is turning left correctly here? Both cars. Car B. Car A. Neither car. Answer. Car B. Question 49. Can you turn left at a red signal? Only when you are turning onto a one-way street. Only when you are turning between two one-way streets. Yes, unless prohibited by a sign. No, unless it is permitted by a local ordinance. Answer. No, unless it is permitted by a local ordinance. Question 50. Which of the following does not apply to South Dakota's roads? If you cannot meet the road's minimum speed, find another route. You should try to match the lawful speed of other traffic. You can get a ticket for driving at the posted speed limit. You may exceed the speed limit by 10 miles per hour when you pass another car on a two-lane highway. Answer. You may exceed the speed limit by 10 miles per hour when you pass another car on a two-lane highway. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.